I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you for joining us with returning guest, Mr. Manuel Furman. He uh, serves as the Chief Executive Officer for the Healthy Start Coalition of Miami-Dade, and he's uh, joining us on the program during the September uh, Infant Mortality Awareness Month. I'm going to um, talk about infant mortality, ways that we can address the issue and hopefully reduce the high infant mortality rate. Thank you for returning, Manuel. Thank you. Well, uh, for our listeners who aren't familiar with you, uh, when you were here before, give a little bit of background about yourself. Of course, CEO of the Healthy Start Coalition of Miami-Dade. A bit of background and what is the role of the Healthy Start Coalition there? Well, thank you, Neil. In the state of Florida, we're unique that the state has designated 32 prenatal and infant care coalitions that cover uh, 67 counties within Florida. Florida is the only state that has set up universal screening for pregnant women and infants. And what that entails is identifying high risk pregnant women that are at risk for preterm birth, low birth weight babies, and then infants that are born that are at risk for infant mortality, dying in that first year of life. And we are designated for the County of Miami-Dade County as that prenatal and infant care coalition. Now, is that um, mortality rate, does it stop at one year of life? Yes. So infant mortality is the death of an infant before his or her first birthday. Okay. The infant mortality rate is the number of infant deaths for every 1,000 live births. And what is the leading the cause of, of infant mortality? Surely there's not one or two causes. There must be many with so many things that can affect a, a child. In 2017, over 22,000 infants died in the United States. The five leading causes of infant death in 2017 were, one, birth defects, two, preterm birth and low birth weight, three, maternal pregnancy complications, four, sudden infant death syndrome, and five, injuries, example, suffocation. Out of these five, I guess, um, raising awareness and offering some solutions to prevent. Uh, obviously, you know, my pregnancy problems, uh, the mother can, can be uh, educated and, and become aware of certain uh, preventive measures, yeah? Correct. Um, with uh, enough attention and education, most moms and guidance with their doctor, nurse, midwife, or whoever their healthcare professional may be, uh, will be informed of the risk factors that they may or may not have. Now, you mentioned, uh, as an, was it as an, an example suffocation, or is that um, the most uh, common injury that we find that relates to infant mortality? Uh, you said that as an example. So injuries, unfortunately, could in, encompass auto accidents, uh, drownings, and other injuries. So it would vary okay. by state. Okay. As- Do you address infant mortality as it relates to ethnicity or socioeconomic situations there in, in the area? Yeah. So similarities between Miami-Dade County, Florida, and nationally, unfortunately, the highest infant mortality rate that we see at the national level, state, and locally in Miami-Dade County are with non-Hispanic African-Americans black individuals. Uh, the infant mortality rate for African Americans um, in the United States is almost two to three times higher than white and Hispanic infant mortality rates. And are those five factors uh, more prevalent in within that uh, demographic than uh, the others that were mentioned? Great question. Um, it would vary by state, but for the most part, those five uh, factors are pretty similar across the nation. And unfortunately, it's disproportionately impacting, you know, Native, well, African-American individuals. I was going to say Miami-Dade County, with our tremendous diversity, uh, at times we refer to Native-born African-Americans. So in Miami-Dade County, like large, urban, uh, multicultural, diverse loca- localities, uh, you can have, I say you can have potentially four called black individuals in front of you. One may be Haitian American, Jamaican American, maybe a black Hispanic, and then the fourth one could be a native born African American. The health disparity, so the first three groups, these immigrant populations, tend to have big healthy babies similar to white and Hispanics. 
the native born African Americans, those that have been here for several generations, unfortunately have the worst outcomes. Are the the general efforts employed to reduce infant mortality the same within that demographic as the white or Hispanic populations? Right. The encouraging thing is that there are a lot of, you know, national, state and local efforts to address these health disparities, specifically with the native born African Americans. So great question. One of them um, that more and more attention is being uh, given to different uh, factors in our society that may not be just exclusively with med- access to medical care. But we do know African Americans, you know, are less likely to have health insurance, to have access to health insurance, to doctors, nurses, et cetera. Um, in the broad scheme of things, now there's some phrasing, a category called social determinants of health. We know in urban inner cities and rural areas, there may be food deserts where there may not be a supermarket or healthy foods there. Um, abilities for people to exercise and walk around their neighborhood. So a lot of more factors we're becoming more conscious of that's not just access to health care. So, and that's targeting African-American communities. What um, is the Miami-Dade Coalition, the, the Healthy Start Coalition, doing there in their efforts, especially during the month of infant mortality awareness? We year-round, but more emphasis during the month of September for National Infant Mortality Awareness, uh, educational activity. Uh, geared to different audiences, at times to clinicians, doctors, nurses, et cetera, bringing attention on, on, on the facts and the numbers, um, also to consumers, to clients, to pregnant women and their families. For the most part, when we go into neighborhoods and have these conversations, people are not aware of you know, something as, sim- as simple and as basic and as unfortunate that, you know, on average, two black babies die for every one white or Hispanic baby. So it's educating the community on, on first the issue and then you know, potential solutions and getting them involved. Where can we get some more information about the Healthy Start Coalition of Miami-Dade and about infant mortality and um, learn about some of the uh, efforts that we can take to hopefully reduce the high infant mortality rate across the board? Um, the CDC, the Centers for Disease uh, Control has an excellent website that lists a lot of the national and state uh, projects and also at the local level in Miami-Dade County at our website, www.hscmd.org. Thank you so much for returning and joining us here on Health Professional Radio. Hope to talk with you again soon. Thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.